In this video, we're going to talk about how you can divide two numbers that are found in scientific notation. This is going to be very similar to how we multiplied with scientific notation because dividing and multiplying are just inverse operations. Quickly reviewing the objectives again, there were two basic options or two approaches to try to multiply or divide. Option one to divide is going to be switch the numbers into regular numbers or decimal notation and divide using the algorithm. Then the second option we'll show you is to treat the mult or sorry to divide the coefficients and the powers of 10 separately. Here's our example problem: four and a half times 10 to the ninth divided by one and a half times 10 to the fourth. Method one would go ahead and we would switch these numbers over into regular notation. So we'd switch four and a half times 10 to the ninth into a regular number, decimal notation. That turns out to be 4.5 billion, we see three places, six places, nine places. That's what happens with nine copies of 10 multiplied by 4.5. 1.5 times 10 to the fourth, we're going to get 15,000 underneath there. Move that decimal place four point, or sorry, that decimal point four places to the right because we're multiplying by 10 to the fourth. Now the standard algorithm for division, there's a nice trick. If we have zeros, extra zeros for both the numerator and the denominator, those are going to cancel each other out. We could just divide the top and the bottom by 10 and knock off zeros. So we see three zeros are going to get knocked off the top and off the bottom because dividing both the top and the bottom by 10 would just kick out zeros. Now we're down to 4,500,000 divided by 15. You could set up the standard algorithm for division or if you know 15 goes into 45 three times, we know 15 goes into 45 three times, one second, then we could simplify that. 45 divided by 15 is just 3 over 1, and now we get to 300,000 over 1. If you have good, strong number sense with the algorithm for division, this may be a method that works for you, but as you see, there's a lot of zeros and it can be complicated. 300,000 divided by 1, if we write that into regular notation, is 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, method 2 would call for a different approach. Instead, we would split this up into two different fractions. We would go ahead and we would look at, in the first fraction, 4.5, the coefficient, divided by the other coefficient, 1.5. And, and separately, we would handle the powers of 10, 10 to the power of 9, divided by 10 to the power of 4. Then at that point, 4.5 divided by 1.5, some of you may recognize is really the same thing as saying 45 divided by 15. So I'm going to switch that, something that my brain understands better, times both the top and the bottom by 10, or move the decimal point right for both of them. 45 over 15 is equivalent to what we see there. That's still going to be multiplied. But I know the rule for division is if I divide the same base, all I do is I take the top exponent, the 9, and I subtract the bottom one. Each power of 10 on the bottom will cancel out a power of 10 on the top. We know from before, 45 divided by 15 makes 3 times 10, and the 9 minus 4 leaves us with 5 powers of 10. And we see here we got the same answer for method 2 as method 1. I think a lot of you will find method two, if we understand why it works, is more efficient and a little easier to use for division.